All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video for y'all. Now, look, I'm not gonna lie. If y'all been missing now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been wondering where your boy been at. I've been on my second channel, which is my podcast channel. So I definitely recommend y'all to go over there, subscribe to that channel. You feel me? Me and my wife be going crazy on that channel. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my baby in the back. You see it? You see it? Shout out to my baby in the back. But uh, yeah, so I came across another crazy video for y'all, okay? Now this is exposing woke students, dangerous gender nonsense. Shout out to Turning Point USA. Oh, no, I think that's UK. I actually think that's UK. Okay. So, yeah, this is Turning Point UK. You feel me? So, shout out to them, man. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Yeah, so I'm non-binary mm -hmm. and I use they, I use he, they pronouns. Mm -hmm. So, I've, like, gone a lot with, like, the whole, like, pronoun journey. Mm -hmm. Gender is a social construct. It doesn't exist. I use they, them pronouns. What, what does they, them mean? If they, again, explain, explain it to me. What? Um, well, I'm... I identify as non-binary, mm -hmm. so it's not man or woman or either ends of the spectrum. It's somewhere in between or nowhere. Back at Sussex University, one of Britain's wokest universities, to ask students questions, all things pronouns and gender related. Let's see what they have to say. What age should someone be allowed to get surgery and transition fully? Uh, I think the easy answer is 16 to 18. What, so if it's a, could a 12 year would, would you be comfortable with a 12 year old getting surgery for example or a 14 year old? Well it's not my place to really like get in the way of telling you know what a 14 year old or something should do but I think that um, if they think that you know they want this then they should be allowed to have it. But it's interesting you mentioned 16 for you that seems like an age where underneath that you wouldn't be happy about the idea of someone if it was available to them? Maybe. Yeah, I mean Maybe like a year or two after maybe thinking about it or contemplating stories. So like seven or eight if they're like 10, 11, 12. If it's like this is a through line and it's been giving them maybe issues with mental health, like if it's like this is a recurring theme, then maybe pursue that. Sure. Because it's just a different form of therapy. If I was to say... Well, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, hold on, pause. Okay, I know we only a minute into the video, but what do you mean if it's giving no mental health issues? Bro, it, it's it's nothing to have a mental health issue. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. It's nothing to have a mental health issue about. If you're a boy, you're a boy. If you're a girl, you're a girl. Oh my God, I feel like I say the same thing over and over again. I feel like I repeat myself because, bro, it gets on my nerves. I just wish people could understand that. But a lot of people are just literally mentally ill okay <laughs> a lot of people just don't i don't know what goes on in their head i don't know why they think that it's okay for kids to be uh to, to uh, pick their gender at a younger age i don't i don't understand that you know what i'm saying something that my pastor said he said it's so perfect he said the way that god created you okay is what you should be all right and it's not just to say i know that sounds so cliche but it's also a point behind it if god creates you a man you may be the male uh, the male principal or the male CEO of a company. You know what I'm saying? That's why God created you a male. If you be a female, he may create you the female to be another top CEO of a business. You know what I'm saying? Like God created your gender for a reason. He did not make a mistake. You changing your gender is basically saying, God, you're stupid. That's basically what you're saying. Like point blank in his face. God, you're dumb. You don't know what you're doing. I, like I was supposed to be a girl. I'm a boy. Like, you don't know what you're doing. Like, no, God created you the way he created you for a reason. It's a purpose and a, it's a purpose behind your, uh, behind your race. It's a purpose behind your gender. That's the reason why God created you. It shouldn't be no, oh, I'm going to change myself to a boy on, I'm a girl. And I mean, no, bro, it shouldn't cause no mental health issue, bro. This is nothing to have a mental health issue about. I just feel like people be too much into society and they feel like, oh, well, I can be whatever I want to be. And then you got parents who go ahead and just go along with what their kids want to be or just whatever makes them happy. Like, no, bro. Two, how many genders are there? How, what would you say? Uh, I'd say that there's definitely more than two. Huh? I think it's a far more complicated than personal um, sort of like set of things than you can, can be easily even put to a number. Really. Sure, okay. How many genders are there then? <laughs> An infinite amount. Infinite amount. <laughs> so, don't want to say as you want. Yeah. Did this, did this man just say it's an infinite amount of genders? Oh my god. Can, can be easily even put to a number. Really. Sure, okay. How many genders are there then? <laughs> an infinite amount. Infinite amount. <laughs> so, don't want to say as you want. Yeah, like. You just talk to the person and find out like, yeah. what they feel. I think it oh, needs to oh, have, oh, so what? Li limit, li have, limitless. Like, a binary number because, like, when you bring in things like he, they, mm. that's just like, it's more like your expression of yourself. It doesn't have to be like a number. I think that's Yeah, kind of like gender's very, like, outdated. Yeah, gender's mm. outdated. And there's also, like, a lot of different, like, 
things you can put in within gender because it's like mm-hmm. gender is like identity expression and mm-hmm. then pronouns and gender doesn't have to be aligned mm-hmm. it's all very different so I feel, and also the only real person who needs to know a person's gender is themselves like is it because it's a very like personal thing and a very like a thing that people will express or want to keep private so I think like yeah there, there's like two sexes there's like male and female sure. but gender there's, there's as many as people want there to be. Uh, I have a few friends who uh, identify with a variety of, of different genders. I think it's uh, less of a sort of... It, it's more of an identity thing rather than a, a any amount of how many it is. I'm sure there are many that I don't know of uh, and many that I do. Sure. So, But there's more than two. Th- yes, I would say so. There's two biological sexes. I think there are, a gender is a matter of spectrum. And I- yeah, um, absolutely. I mean, I personally believe that gender is a social construct um people can use whatever pronouns that make them feel comfortable basically so as in gen- gender and sex are two different things um yes i believe at least personally <laughs> sure okay fine so um how do you identify then um i identify i'm not really sure <laughs> sure so okay that's Still figuring it out. Uh- <laughs> and you parents send your freaking kids to this school oh my gosh I mean, he did say it's the wokest, the wokest university there is. So I can't even be mad because obviously it's the wokest university. This woman just said she don't know what she ident like. She doesn't know her gender. Like she doesn't know what she identify as. I mean, you identify as what she was born. Okay, I'm I'm done. Uh, I'm trying to get my head around the language. If you're a trans woman, so that means that you've 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 transitioned. So you were you were a cis male, I think that's the language, and you're now a trans woman, and they should, the feminists say you should not be allowed to use a female bathroom. So it's all very well talking about ideas, and I like that. But in terms of practical application in some of these uh, areas that are more about the LGBTQ plus community, what are your thoughts as a female, who identifies as a female, what do you think about trans um, women, I think that's the right term, using female bathroom? I think it's fine. Um, I think that people can use whatever bathrooms they want what about what about the feminists who say that there's a safeguarding issue there that's what that's what generally speaking the feminists now are talking about safeguarding issues um i wouldn't really call them feminists if they're like not including trans people in their trans women in their um agenda because trans women are women yes and is that your personal belief yes and trans trans men are trans trans men are men yeah if they identify as that or they might identify as like non-binary or whatever but yeah whatever they identify as it's like the purpose of the bathroom you just walk in and anyone could be in there it's gender neutral it doesn't matter okay so at the other end what if what do you mean it doesn't matter i don't want to use bro okay i'm me personally i'm a guy okay i i identify as a guy i was born as a guy i am not a male female I just say I'm not a male, but you you know what I'm trying to, bro, the video got me losing brain cells, bro. I'm missing all my words, but what do you mean that it doesn't matter? Like, if I was a woman, I wouldn't want a man that identifies as a woman because, bro, you could, bro, a man could just dress up as a woman and say they identify as a woman. You telling me they can go use the bathroom because they identify as a woman? They look just like a man, but they're just dressed like a woman. You telling me, oh yeah, go ahead, go use the woman's bathroom. You identify as a woman. Like, What? Bro, you know how many people will be creeps with that? You know how many creeps will literally dress as a woman just to go inside of a girl's bathroom just to be a creep? That is not okay. That is truly not okay. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me there's more than two genders. There is only there is only two genders. Okay? It's simple. It's that male, female. That is the only two things that there is. Okay? Like, I don't understand you people logic. You, you people sound stupid. Y'all are literally, I think day by day as I watch more and more of these gender nonsense videos, I lose more and more brain cells, bro. I'm becoming one of y'all. Oh my gosh, I might have to go to a mental health hospital. This is not okay. Oh my gosh, I'm losing, like I'm losing my brain. I'm gonna go around and start saying I identify as a cat and I'm gonna start ring out. Mm, 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 mm. Oh man, I gotta go. If I tomorrow morning dress up, as I look right now, but I get into a dress, heels, whatever, and I walk into a female bathroom, is that okay? Um, I feel like this is quite like a very like complicated and loaded question to ask someone. Like, um, I don't 
I don't really have the uh, exact answer. Mm. Well, just, just your thoughts, because that, that's what the feminists are saying in terms of safeguarding, is that actually there's a big problem there, but the trans community says there's no problem, so it's about getting your own opinion. Um, yeah, well, I think that, um, like, you know, trans women should obviously be allowed to go into female toilets. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, like, um... I don't know. It's, it's quite a hot topic. It's, 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 ways, well, yeah. well, it's a difficult question, but I think it's a completely legitimate one for people that yeah. say that there are many different genders and we should address with pronouns. So, for example, let's just say that I, as, a, as I look today, tomorrow I go into a female bathroom and I'm dressed in a certain way and, I, and, and someone says, oi, mate, or oi, sir, you can't go in there or whatever. So it's, it's not just about pronouns and about asking people how many genders there are. It's about the practical application. So fundamentally, in terms of the trans movement and, and bathrooms, is it the case that a trans, um, a trans woman Woman, is that is that the correct that they should be allowed to use female bathrooms they, sh- they should be allowed to use women's bathrooms yes fem- sex and gender aren't inextricably linked they aren't linked at all really gender is a social construct it doesn't exist um, it's about making sure that people are safe because you know trans women face misogyny too they face exponential amounts of violence it doesn't have any implication on pe- which bathroom people go to people say it's a women's safeguarding issue I am absolutely a feminist, but you know I do not see this as a woman's safeguarding issue. You do not have security guards standing at the, um, the doors to gendered toilets saying, let's see your genitals, we need to make sure you aren't trans. Um, the fear very much seems to be about cisgender men dressing up as trans women and causing attacks and harms. A guy like me dresses up tomorrow morning, I wake up, looking at the way I do. And I put a dress on and I start going into female bathrooms because of how I identify, which obviously links to pronouns. What are your thoughts on that? Um, it's a really good question. I think um, it can be quite an easy way for uh, a man who, who wants to assert some dominance, who, who disagrees with the whole pronoun situation, to waltz into a, a female um, bathroom with a dress on and say, I'm allowed to be here. Um, but I think that is a, a small minority. Um, yeah, it's going to make people uncomfortable. Uh, I don't think that would affect me as much. Obviously, I, I don't go into women's bathrooms either as wearing a dress or uh, as a uh, born as a woman. On, on that then, right, tough question. What of that of um, a six-year-old saying to mum and dad, uh, what you're saying is that I identify or I feel as X, Y, Z. What should the parent do? What's your advice? Nice and broad, could be anything, but they say something along those lines. I mean, I just think listen to them and do what they choose. Like, I know there's, like, obviously, like, permanent things you can do with, like, transgender stuff, but maybe just support them until they're old enough. That the parent- what do you mean support? I'm not supporting my six-year-old kid talking about they want to be a man. If- mm-hmm. oh my gosh. Oh, my God. What the Mama, we got the- Man, y'all got me speaking different languages. I'm not, if my six-year-old child say, hey, daddy, I want to be a boy, and they're a girl, or I'm going to just, because I sound like a boy when I said that, so I'm going to just say, you know what I'm saying, just switch to roles. If my son come up to me and say that he wants to be a girl, and he's six, son, go to your room. You don't know what you're talking about. You're six. You're, you don't even know, like, if you want me to be blunt, you don't even know what a piece of a piece of cool to mama feel like like how can you even say that you want to be a certain way when you don't even know what any of this even looks like you don't even know what adult adult woman looks like you don't even know what these are you don't know what that is down there but you're only six you only six i will automatically blame the school i'm not gonna lie i will go to the school and ask them what are they because te- because of how the school system is now i will literally that's the first people that's the first the first thing i'm doing is going to the school and saying what are you teaching my kids because he wasn't talking about being a woman until he came to this school. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I would literally go to, like, what are the kids teaching my kids? Like, I would have to homeschool because, bro, my son is not going to grow up thinking that he wants to be a girl because his peers done talked about this because their parents are talking about it at the house. Like, come on now. Come on now. This is ridiculous, bro. This is truly ridiculous. Parents, like, are happy for them to make permanent decisions, but yeah. until then, just listen and be open. Yeah, definitely, like, even, like, from the start, like, just make it a place where they feel like they can come mm. to you with those questions and make it a space where you're not, like, labelling them as, like, definitely a boy, definitely a girl, or, like, definitely gay, definitely straight. Just, like, make it, like, an ex- inclusive place mm-hmm. where, like, if they are thinking that, then you just be like, yeah, I hear you, I see you. Do, do you want a different pronoun, different name? How can we support 
nurturing this and it's like see because children are not ever changing ever growing same with adults like people change people are like experiencing different things and go, oh actually i want to be this or this so really just be open and like listen to them bro ain't no being open bro ain't no being open look as for me and my household we will serve the lord okay and i don't care i don't care if you are a man of god or a woman of god I don't care if you're not. That's why I meant to, like, I don't care if you're not a woman of God or a man of God, but I'm a man of God. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Leviticus 18, 22. That's what I was looking up, by the way. Uh, it says, do not practice homosexuality, having sex with another man that's with a woman. It is a detestable sin. Bro, I'm not, look, I'm not finna, I'm not finna be open to hearing my child talk about homosexuality, changing their genders. I'm not gonna be open to that, especially at a young age. Now, if you're 18, you can make your own decisions. I raised you up in a way to go with your life, but at the end of the day, you're 18, you want, you know what I said? Once you get out of my house, make all the decisions that you want to make. I done did my part as a as a man of God, as your father. I done did my part. I didn't raise you up like this. I raised you up the way that I wanted you to go. So, hey, if you don't want to go that way, then hey, by all means, go out, live the world, be your own, be your own person. You know what I'm saying? You want to go out there and, and, and be a man trying to be a woman? Like, hey, that is you. You're 18. You're grown. You are legally grown. I, I'm going to still love you. I'm going to still, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to still be there for you. I may not support what you do, but I will still respect you as my son. And I will continue to call you my son. I don't care if you say that. I, ident I identify as a woman and I want to be called Julie. Ju Julie. No, your name was Julian. So guess what? I'm going to call you Julian. You're going to still be my son, not my daughter. <laughs> That's just how I roll. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, to each his own, man. I'm not being open to hearing my kid talk about any uh, homosexuality, anything like that that is against the word of God, especially at a, especially at six years old. Especially at six years old. Six years old, you're supposed to be playing, playing with toys and, and playing the game and not worrying about life but just having fun and being a kid. That is what a six-year-old is supposed to be doing. I'm not finna put bills on you. I'm not finna do none of that. So you're supposed to be enjoying your life, living like a kid. But you're talking about gender, gender, uh, gender identity and all that. Like, nah, bro. Um, so a lot of times it's just like, we'll try different clothes. We'll try a different haircut. We'll see if we like it. If you really hate it, you know, there's no harm, no foul. So obviously just good parenting 101. Listen to the child, ask them how they're thinking, feeling. But equally, if a child came home and said, just to be devil's advocate with the audience, if a child came yeah. home and said, I want to start drinking vodka straight from the bottle. No. <laughs> you say no, or that's too dangerous, you're too young. It's, like, it's important what? to just be there for your kids rather than try and impose something on them. Um, you can like obviously let them know how you're feeling, but respectfully be able to listen to what they are trying to express to you and like not coax anything that you want to hear back out of them. So what would your advice be to parents where a son comes home and starts saying things like, oh, I think I might be female or, I'm, or, or, I'm, or am I a woman or, or whatever? I think uh, there's a level of exploring. Obviously, you've got to be aware of age. But the parent is realistically in control until they're sort of early teens, I'd say. And then it sort of becomes a more, an increasingly balanced relationship to a, a more 50-50 thing and a more independent thing for the child as they get 18. So... Earlier on, it's sort of, okay, you feel this way, let's talk about it. Um, but I make the final decision uh, as the parent. And then it moves into, uh, if you want to wear a dress, that's, that's your thing. Um, let me support you in that. Well, yeah, I'd say be supportive of your child and, um, you know, try and um, talk through, you know, their development. Uh, but also your child will know, like, you know, who they are and stuff. I think to the encouragement to be open with your, like, growth uh, as a person is, like, really important. I think that, I don't know, sometimes it can be, like, uh, pushed down and that can lead to some really, like, you know, um, like, uh, difficult times when you're, like, repressing who you are. Yeah, absolutely. So I've just, you know, people have referred to me as she and I've been like, oh, not she, it's they. And then they're like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. I'm trying to do so much better. And at the end of the day, you're then putting the onus on trans people for taking the responsibility for your mistakes. You're allowed to make mistakes. That's why we're correcting you so you can do better and move on. But like you're putting trans people in a really uncomfortable position when you make them try to make you feel better or alleviate any guilt. 
you know, I think it is about being patient with people, but also we're not just going to be patient for anyone because you need to actually be making an effort. Mm. These are new things and they do take time to learn, but you actually have to be putting in the effort. You can't just expect trans people to forgive you wherever you go. Pronouns, should we all be using them? How do, to a layman person, how does it work? Should we be using them and what are they? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we should all be using them. I mean, unless you don't want to use them, but like that would be an identity on its own. Mm. Um, Did she just say that would be an insult? Did you say that'd be an insult? You're not going to make my English. Um, that's the word I'm looking for. I can't think of the word. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm not going to call you they or them because I use they as a group. You're not a group. You're a single individual. So therefore, you're going to be called he or she. Whatever I see you as. So right now, I see two women. Okay. I see two women. I could tell. Two women... And I'm going to call you, hey, you over there, or I'm not going to, like, if I, if I see you over there, I'm like, hey, you over there. Like, I don't know your name, but I'm not going to do that because that's just not me. I will come up to you and be like, hey, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, she said this, or she said that, or blah, blah, blah. She did this, and she did that. Like, I'm not going to call you, oh, they did them, and they did, like, no, bro, that is so stupid. I'm not, no, my English is already bad as it is, bro. I'm not going to make it even worse. Like, come on, now, I'm not going to finna call you. It's not an insult. It's what you, it's what you are. It's what God created you as. So you are a she, you are a female. That is what I'm going to call you. I'm not going to call you they or them. Today is pronoun, International Pronoun Day. Apparently, anyway. So I've been told. Mm. If I'm wrong it on is, that, then it is, is it? Yeah. Are you, okay. So all my badges, they're all of like personal to me and my symbolism, and I have a lot of different flags. Mm. So this is just a classic transgender flag. Right. So anyone who doesn't identify with the gender that was assigned at birth. I know that one, yeah. Yeah, and then this is the non-binary one, which is oh, the one okay. I use. So that's for anyone who, again, isn't a man or a woman, whether that's a trans woman or, or um, a trans man. Yeah. And then... Yeah, and then this, oh, no, where's the, and this is the progress flag. Oh, okay. So this is the normal, the sky flag that everyone knows, like the so rainbow. Some of them I, I know, yeah. That's yeah, great. and then this is the progress one. So again, it's just a typical rainbow that um, that Gilbert Baker created in the um, uh, early 2000s. Mm-hmm. And then this is the progress one, which was created, I think, 2020 mm-hmm. by a, a black w- and, a woman of colour. Mm-hmm. And the white, blue and pink show the transgender people in the community and the brown and black show the people of colour in the community. And then there's Superman and Batman and they- they seem to be yeah, kissing. they're gay. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, engaged, they're engaging in a warm embrace. Of course, yeah. I I love all my badges. Kind of like show to other people what the, like, the values I have yeah, sure. and like the inclusion I have. So I have like loads of ones which are like obviously a refuse welcome and like the gay community, the trans community. I have like ones about like um, sustainability, mm-hmm. all of that, just to show people mm-hmm. that like. I'm like an inclusive person mm. and like this is who I am and like you can express yourself however you need to be. Yeah, well I have to ask because I've not seen that before. Em and Emma, thank you so much. Thank you. Bless no worries, you. Thank you so have much. a great have day. Great day. Sure, so generally speaking, if um, let's put let's talk about you as the individual. If someone so for me you're a female, but yeah. that might that might offend somebody who was non binary, is that correct? I'm learning as I go. Well, I present as a female mm. and I identify as a female. So that's fine to me. Um, obviously, if you assume someone else's gender and they are not identifying as that gender, that would offend them. Mm. So usually I would just not assume at all. I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about this video. I mean, the, the the title is obviously correct. Gender nonsense, because that is exactly what it is. First of all, shout out to Turning Point UK. Um, This is why I couldn't do interviews like this, because I will go ahead and I will like go on a rampage. Like, I'm not angry at the fact that you are who you are, but when it comes to children and you're telling me that it's okay, like I will go on a rampage. You know what I'm saying? And then obviously me being a man of God, a lot of people don't know this. Yes, I am I am a disciple of Christ and I am open to say that. You know what I'm saying? I am open to say that. Maybe a lot of people not, but hey, you can always respect me for who I am as a person. I respect, bro, I respect the LGBT people for who they are as people. I don't support them, but I respect them. That just that, that just that, but you talking about how it's a, a insult if I don't call somebody they or them, bro, that's not an insult. That is like, bro, it's just common sense. You are exactly what 
what you look like. And I could tell the difference between a man and a female. So if you a female that looks like a male, unless you did super good, and you know what I'm saying, unless you did super good, that's the only way I call you a male. Like I'm talking about why I can't even tell the difference. Now, if you, unless I know that you was born as a female, then I'm gonna say she. But however, if you are a male, you know what I'm saying, and you a female, unless you got this cut off, unless you got this taken out or whatever, your Adam's apple, then bro, I'm gonna be calling you he all day long. I'm not calling you they, them, Io, Pico, Tamayo. Like, I'm not calling you none of that, bro. None of that extra stuff. You're gonna be called exactly what God created you as. That's just how I wrote. That's not an insult. It's not an insult at all. But anyways, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video in the comment sense, uh, in the comment sense below. Sorry, y'all. Uh, people just need <laughs> people just need common sense. I don't know why I just said that in the comment sense below, but uh, yeah, drop down some common sense, some common sense comments down below, okay? Because we need them. We need we need them for real, for real. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments in the comment section below. I love y'all, man. I appreciate everything y'all have done um, for me. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all, man. All glory to God. You feel me? Without further ado, man, it's me, your boy, Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.